Hit another one. Hit another one. <laughs> Drafting each other. Yeah, dude. Lay Mullins team coming in clutch. We're gonna be drafting if we have to. Shaking and, and bacon. Uh, shaking and bacon, slingshotting around people. Our theory is all right. If so I'm bumping you, I'm letting you know. I'm not trying to spin you out. I'm trying to just make you go faster. Yeah, and so. vice versa. All right, guys. If you don't know, it is the Indy 800. We're doing 80 laps at Lucas Oil Speedway today at Cleveland Cars. 2022. It's gonna be what? Probably 15 drivers or so. I think it's 15 ish. Yeah. Yeah. Guys like Brad DeBerdy and Never heard of him. <laughs> what Brian Deegan racing? Never heard of him. Kevin KSR. We got yeah. JH Diesel. A lot, fast, a lot of fast guys racing. Yep. Um, who is Parker? Who is your Who is your biggest competition out there? Who do you really Just you, you dude. You and I. We're we're we're, 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 we're a team. Together. We're not against it. But who? Okay, who are you least worried about? I am least worried about probably. Ooh. I'm least worried about Cletus. He ain't doing <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of skilled drivers. Hey, I smoked that guy in the last race. Happened straight again. Bro. Right. Well, we're walking out to the drivers' meeting right now on the track. It's a lot different than Freedom Factory because this is a 5A Sobel. Freedom Factory is a 3A Sobel with bigger banks. So this is flatter, longer. Faster speed, so we're pretty we're fired up. 85 mile an hour in practice. Just 85 down the straight before we hit into the turn, so. Guys, hardest working guy on the channel, Zach Walker, everyone. Getting everyone's nitrous in the cars. Hooked up, we're ready. Stands are starting to fill up. I would imagine by the time this race starts, these stands are gonna just be full of fans, and it's gonna be an amazing race. Way faster, we're only doing 80 laps, that's because it's a longer track, right? So at the Freedom Factory, again, that's a 3A Sobel. This is a 5A Sobel, so a quarter mile longer, and we're doing 80 laps instead of 100. The cars are gonna be running a lot higher RPM. We're gonna be staying in second gear, just like we do at the Freedom Factory, but some of the cars are topping out on the straight because they're geared differently in the rear end. So some of them are hitting like a soft rev limiter. Other ones are able to get all the way through. Mine happens to be one of the cars that doesn't hit the rev limiter along the straight and I was doing pretty well during practice so but I didn't do very well at the Freedom Factory so maybe my car is gonna like this track a lot better we'll see okay so we are in qualifying group number two I'm paired up with Derek from Vice Grip Garage we also got Doug from side by side and then Roman Atwood in the smile more car so we're getting ready we're gonna go out and do our fastest laps and that's gonna determine where we're gonna start from in the beginning of the race Parker Mitchell, the number seven teeth and turbos. Then we got our very own, uh, who's that, the number 22, Doug and Crown Vicks. Just 50 shot of nitrous out here, letting it eat. And we have the green flag. Qualifying group two has started. Parker Mitchell crossing the line now. These guys are spread out. This is going to be good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Parker, I mean, you, or really, you want to have these guys out here not so bunched together. You're out here trying to qualify. Looks like he's out here just really good. All right, on pole position right now, we have Parker Mitchell, Teeth and Turbos, with a 30.5. Unreal, dude. I'm looking at these standings. I don't know if this, this might be wrong. Number two, Matt from Demo Ranch. What is going on? What is going on? Can we check their tire pressures? All right, number three, Brad DeBerdy. That's pretty good. Number four, our boy Kyle from Boosted Boys. Second row for him. Number five, Cleeter McSkeeter. Come on. Well, we got Thank you, your number one, the breakdown. Your number two one qualifiers. Who would have thought? We, got it. we started from the bottom, you know, but now we're on top. Now we're here. Oh, and we got DeBerdy. Number three. Baby. Number three. Top three. Right? I know. We got this. We got this. Hey. 
We're teaming up. We're teaming up. Us three. All three will just push each other all the way through the race. Hey, Bertie, since you're number three, we're going to be in front of you. You just be running interference behind us. Just be smashing everybody. I'll just call him out. Just keep everybody back, all right? We got a race to win. We got a podium to grab. It's going to be fun, man. Right? Interviews before we get things started. Where's Parker? There he is. Our pole position driver, Parker. What's the deal? You're a dentist, and now you're out here on the pole position. Uh, what did you do today to qualify so fast? Well, I had a little motivation last night because, as you all might have seen, I blew up the motor in my Hellcat. So I got to get a 7-3 today. That's my number one goal. I got to win this race and get a new motor for my car. That's right, brother. The winner of the summer race in Indy 800 gets a 7.3 liter Godzilla engine shipped right to their doorstep. So, yeah, that's a lot to ride on it. You got to get that Hellcat fixed. Yeah, we'll get her fixed. We're definitely going to get her fixed. And, you know, if I can get that summer racing 7.3 liter, I'm going to be so stoked. What a great swap that would be. That'd be pretty sweet. All right. Thanks, brother. Literally. <laughs> I really don't know how I pulled off that number one qualifier, how I feel about it, because normally when I race, I like to follow a pack, but now I guess I'm setting the pace. I may definitely have a target on my head now, because I know dang well my brother Cletus is not going to let me win without a fight. I got another guy next to me, Matt from Demo Ranch. He qualified second, and then Brad DeBerti three. So a couple guys that, you know, this is our second or third race. And man, I am so stoked to get this thing running because if I can put a solid gap on them from the beginning, I mean, I'm sure we'll have cautions, but hey, we're starting it off right. Just gave them the sign. The engines have been started. Oh, and then we are green. We are underway. That was it. We got guys sleeping. We have cars that aren't even going yet. Oh, Boy, look at that. Jamie from PFI Speed was lighting them tires up. He must have been heavy on into turn four. Is he going to be able to? And that's the thing with this race here is we don't necessarily have spotters in these driver's ears, so you really got to use those mirrors. Parker was able to hold him, but Brad DeBerg inside line. This is racing right here, two wide into turn three. Looks like Cletus is going to stay right in there, but this Parker Mitchell. Tell you what, Parker's able to hold him off going into turn one. Can Parker keep it going? Looks like Cletus is going to make the pass coming out of turn two against his... restart he got Cletus McFarland right there followed up by Parker Mitchell Kyle from the Booster Boys look at that you got Brian Deegan taking that low line oh wow for our first time we are three wide into the turn one there look at that Brian Of it looks like his tires are okay, but he's on pit rail right now. Look at Whistling Diesel right there, back at the pack, just uh, got done having a front right, put on the car. Yeah, there Parker is. Now, get it, guys, this was our race. JH getting spun out into the grass. <laughs> oh, Parker just slammed the brakes on JH. <laughs> Position. You got Kevin Smith, Brad DeBerti, and Cletus McFarland heavy on that bumper. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can get you on your feet, I need everybody standing up. We are in the final lap of the Summit Race in Indy 800. We got Brian Deegan. Can he come back and win two races back to back on the back straight? Brian Deegan, something incredible is going to have to happen. Oh, Cletus. Boy, heavy, contact. heavy. 
contact. Heavy contact in turn two, but you got Brian Deegan right here coming out of turn we three. A checkered flag is coming out. Here we go. Brian Deegan, your leader, followed up by Nick Seuss. Brian Deegan, back-to-back -back winners. Your winner right here, Indy 800, followed up Nick Seuss. Brad DeBerti in third place. We thought the Milwaukee cars could do us good on this race. We started on pole, and they say you can't win a race in the first 20 laps. Well, I tried to win it in the first 20 laps. I got a right front blowout, so I immediately stopped on the track to cause a caution, went in, got a tire change. And then about lap 60 or 70, same thing happened. And it was overheating real bad, and the motors bar bogged out the whole rest of the race. So I just stayed in and enjoyed watching the rest of the guys. If you guys like this content, make sure to subscribe, like, leave me a comment. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.